Here's Mike Harrison at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram, and he's got a lovely ammonite here preserved in calcite. Oh wow, isn't that fantastic? Impression one side and a large calcite ammonite the other side. Pro Mike Crocerus there. And Mike is gonna be the star of a new Colossal Crinoid 2 fossil video along the Jurassic Coast. He's just made with me and uh, this is him out in his natural habitat, finding his fossils in the winter months. Here's Mike Harrison heading out along the Jurassic Coast at low tide, looking for fossils. And uh, he's got a really big mudslide that he's been gonna be looking in for a crinoid today. Oh yeah, look at that arm piece. It's a big chunk. Some of the some over, some of the loose stuff off. Get that overburden out. Is that rubbish falls on it, which is likely. Then you've got it chalked, yeah, so you, you can, can see that little piece if it, the fragment goes missing in the mud. It's really moved all this area, hasn't it, in the past? You see how crumbly it all is? Yeah, it's laying at different levels. So. You're doing a little uh, probing hole there, Mike. Yeah, we'll see if we can... It's a bit like Aussie opal here. hunters, isn't it? Where they um, <laughs> go probing into the uh, different areas for hearing the sound. There's nothing there. Nothing? No, that's soft. Just so no. maybe just that it split up the pieces and... Uh, Could have rotted out some Oh, that's true. Yeah, good point. Pyrite. Yeah. Um, get a lot of water. Could pick up again. Just want to hear a, a substantial noise. Oh, that, that, that's a noise. That's a noise, there. isn't it? Perhaps it's going off to the uh, left of the area that you're looking in. I think the best idea now is just to take the surface off. Yep. But... So this is where... Picked up over to that side now. Yeah, again. but this is. I don't think it's much. I just think it's a little piece. So what we'll do is we'll lift a bit of this here. Oh, oh, it is getting bigger, look. Is it? Yeah, definitely. I can't see that at the moment. I'll try and focus I'll in on it. I'll show you, just remove some of this. Yeah, just gently uh, take piece. the overburden off. and Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Oh. The detail's under there, look. It's yeah. quite it's thicker. Knock that off. So, um... Another bit for the bags. That bit's going to have to go nice. different. Yeah, but the, the sort of erosional elements yeah. have uh, done their worst for wear on this uh, specimen, but yeah, in, it may... Slip, in, see? Yeah, it's, it's just there, bits all broken it's... up by the pressures and the uh, Earth's movements, from the Earth's movements. That's separate. We'll just put those on top of there. Yeah. Just to keep them... Uh, Let's see if to, we can... Do the jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it's not really much fun, is it? No. It was in there, I think. Another piece here. You got another bit there, yeah, Mike. Yeah, you can see the imprint there. Look, so this, this should be oh, some yeah, nice detail. Yeah. You can see the imprint. Oh, there is. Uh, look, look at that. Okay, I'll focus in on that. Oh wow, yeah, you can actually pick that up more so. A shame it's so rotted out because that would have been a really perfect specimen. They'll scrub up nicely, won't it, with a toothbrush and uh, yeah. at home. What what would you say? Warm water and warm uh, water and a toothbrush. Excellent. Not your own toothbrush, though, Mike. Well, I don't know. If it's that good, you never know. Yeah, look, this is looking more promising. Oh, look, that's see. good, Mike. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear the scraping noise. Ah, oh, yeah, on the air. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's thickening up. So let's see. Just run the camera. Uh, on the iPhone on it and um, see if you can pick up what we're talking about. Probably not, it's not easy there. That, that's the noise. You're onto something there, that's good, compared to all this muddy mass above it. Yeah, good work. Let's see if this is a bit more Yeah, substantial. substantial. Heading see, that, under the... look, see that gap down there, there's a big hole there. It's just actually filled in. 
What, um, what's so, happened there? There's a big hole just underneath well, yeah, the crinoid. At some point, the, the, um, the ground's moved the there. The ground's opened. So yeah. so oh, yeah. This, uh, just a hollow uh, area. So I expect some pieces to drop down into there. Yeah, more to look for. Yeah, going these, uh, these vertically rather going. than horizontal. Yeah. Cross that bridge when we get to it. But these bits are um, a bit, definitely a bit more substantial. Maybe. Oh, look, the whole big bit's lifting, but you don't want to lift it up all at once do you because it could affect the well that yeah um it's better left at the moment isn't it yeah that's the way go on. <sighs> and this is definitely looking more promising now I, i'm gonna get a bag and put those bits in yeah first. that's good away there just have no idea how much is in that area, do you? It's the general no. general fun of the whole thing. There's no guarantees in this game. No guarantee at all that there'll be any more substantial bits of the crinoid, but you've got to plough on and uh, do the work. Taking off again, Mike. Yeah, there uh, we go, look, there's another big oh, piece Oh, that's there. good. Oh, really good. It's, it's uh, kind of turning around, yeah. um, heading in. Yeah. That's good. I think yeah. the reason that nice big block is there Yeah. Um, that has saved the crinoid sort of thing, so you've got, you should have a nice big piece of crinoid under there. Wow. Well, that's what I'm hoping. That's right? what you're hoping. Good work. A lot of work too, just uh, time consuming and uh, taking extra special care, scraping away. It's really soft, that material, isn't it? It's, uh, like cream cheese, isn't it? Cream cheese, soft as cream cheese. Cream cheese with lumps in it. The old marine sediments there. But with some great fossil preservation of the crinoid material underneath those lumps. Mike's really scraping away like mad. Oh, here comes the big uh, well, I just think cream well cheese wedge. Get down thing out the way. Gonna get the whole lot up there, Mike. Just careful where I tread. That's a substantial piece. What a chunk. Oh, got the balance. That's it gone. So you're down quite a bit further there. Yep. Funny how it's sort of scalloped out in a way. It does, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you're doing a test there. Nothing there. Nothing. No. So what nothing in the tester. So it might just be around this other might just be main this part bit, where yeah. you're lifting it up now. Let's take this and see what happens. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Seems not looking to be, good, is it? Oh, to, no! You're hearing some more noise. Yeah, hear it. That's better. It sounds like it might be a bit thin. Isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. There you are. There we go. There's an ammonite imprint there. Look, can really? You see that? Okay, I'll come down into that. Oh, yeah, an ammonite on top of the uh, crinoid material. Brush off all the loose material. So, what were you saying, Mike? You wish you'd found this before. Well. Like a century ago. Yeah. <laughs> just because of that. It'd have probably been good then, you know. It's just um, the water's got to it now. You think that block you could have brought out and. Uh, it might have been on the bottom of the block. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, it sounds a bit thin, doesn't it? So um, we'll start lifting these pieces now and bagging them up and we'll get an idea of what's going on then, won't we? So fingers crossed. Oh, some lovely detail there, look. Part of a head. Very nice. Oh, this is a bigger piece. Is it? More of a substantial chunk yeah, there? Yeah, let's hope we've got some detail going. Oh, yes, look at that head. Oh, wow. Oh, lovely. But it's got that iron stain on it yet again. So it's yeah. showing that the water has got in. But that will all wash off. That will oh, scrub lovely. up. It will scrub up beautifully, that will. Oh, yeah. So what we'll do now, I mean, that's on the same layer, which suggests that this is extremely thin. Yeah. But hopefully that might have dropped and that actually might be thick. Um, we'll find out now. It's a moment of truth here. No, it's thin. Uh, it's almost like... Um, wafer, wafer thin. I was going to say wafer thin. Yeah, look, you can it. just about so, see. Oh, yeah, a little... Um, the edge of it. But yeah, it's wafer thin. 
Oh, let's get a bag to put those bits in. Yeah, those little bits here, yeah. So, oh, yeah, those bits yeah, there. I've got a piece of my hand. Another bit there, Mike. Yeah. Just... Oh, there's some detail on there. I can see it there. Oh, look, look. Yeah, ah, look. Ah, lovely. Got stems. Nice stems showing there. Yeah, a bigger bit of crinoid there, seems Mike. A bit, seems a bit more substantial, so let's have a look. What have we got? Get the lift that's on that. Oh, so yeah, far. it's lifted up nicely. Yeah, that's not too bad. There's some detail there. Mike's bagged up crinoid there, ready to go. With all that substantial work he had to do to get those little bits and pieces. I've got my cost of living crisis sandwiches over there that I'm going to have along with Mike in a minute. He's there having his crunchy nut feast. Uh, I've got my cost of living crisis sandwiches here. Some good reductions there. And uh, I'll see if I can compare them to Mike's sandwiches. He always makes a really good sandwich when he's out here doing this work along the Jurassic Coast at low tide mostly, and a uh, nice uh, bacon sandwich. Mm. Yep, Mike's found a really nice crinoid here and uh, he's gonna scrub it up a bit with the sea coming in. Stick here. Scratch just getting out. in between the edges, yeah. Yeah, just scratch out some of that um, soft clack. Lovely crinoid arms there, a crinoid head. Beautiful preservation from the Jurassic Coast. There we go, how's that for a mess? <laughs> Excellent, Mike. That's a real proper fossil hunter's car, that. A few scratches here and there, but... It looks more like a mobile recycling centre. Thanks very much for watching the Jurassic Coast Colossal Crinoid Fossil part two and Mike Harrison had a really good look around for the fossils in the cream cheese like mud. He didn't get an awful lot this time but uh, it was very very good the work he did to try and get what he could and if you'd like to see more of the Jurassic Coast colossal crinoid film please see that on my old YouTube videos on my channel Lime Regis Fossils. Thank you. Here is one of those new fossil crinoid discoveries made by Mike that he's now prepared. They were curious creatures, those colossal crinoids from the ancient past. If you enjoyed the content that you have been watching, the fossil hunting trips that I'm doing, I will have more of. And you can subscribe for free if you like. Thank you.